Welcome in to NFL Daily by Chat Sports. Tyler Jones here with you. So glad to have you with us. On today's show, we'll look back at week number three in the National Football League with a little stock up and stock down that we will bring you in just a few moments from right now. Before we do that, though, let's look ahead to next week. Like today's video if you want your team to win this upcoming weekend. Don't jinx it. Let's send some good vibes if your team lost this past weekend or won. Let's go ahead and get the next week started on the right note and send some good vibes to your favorite team as we look ahead to week four in the National Football League. Stock up or stock down? We have several different candidates that we want to talk about whose stock went up and went down this week. Talking about Lamar Jackson, Josh McDaniels, a few surprises here and there as well. We begin, though, with second-year Jags quarterback Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence played outstanding this week against the L.A. Chargers, and Lawrence put together one of the best performances of his career so far, going 28 of 39 through the year, three touchdown passes, 262 yards, no interceptions thrown in the Jags' 38-10 win against the L.A. Chargers. And look, last year, Trevor Lawrence did not play well. Granted, he was not set up for success, having to deal with Urban Meyer, as his head coach, but this year a new system that Doug Peterson brought in and Trevor Lawrence has really taken things up a notch and put together one of the best performances of his entire career at this point. And we're seeing guys like Christian Kirk step up. The offensive line is providing protection for him as well. The Jags didn't give up any sacks on Sunday. I really like what I've seen from Trevor Lawrence so far to start off 2022. Meanwhile, stock down. A quarterback that was also picked in the same draft class as Trevor Lawrence. That is Mac Jones of the New England Patriots. And Mac Jones yesterday against the Baltimore Ravens really struggled. He was 22 of 32 through the air, 321 yards, three interceptions. He did have a rushing touchdown score, but he left the game with a high ankle sprain. In the status of Mac Jones for the future is unknown, but... We heard from Bill Belichick and the coaching staff there in New England. They don't feel very good about the direction where that injury is headed on that front. Still looking for more information. But here was the guy, Mac Jones, that went to the Pro Bowl last year, that had a very good rookie season. And so far, to start off the second year of his career, Mac Jones has not played that great. A three-interception performance and an injury – not good for Mac Jones at all to start off this 2022 season. And this New England team now finds themselves 1-2. and two. And there's a lot of talk about this New England team of, are they even a playoff team at this point? Are they the worst team in their division in the AFC East? Things that we would never talk about, about the New England Patriots. But here we are right now. So with that said, knowing what we know now, our pin comment today Year two of their careers. Seems like things are heading in opposite directions for Mac Jones and Trevor Lawrence at this point. Who's the better quarterback? Which guy would you rather have right now? Personally, I would go with Trevor Lawrence. Last year, rookie year, dealt with an incompetent head coach. I don't hold that against him too much. I would go with Trevor Lawrence. Would you go with Mac Jones, though? Let me know in the comments section. TL for Trevor Lawrence. MJ for Mac Jones. Let me know in the comments section. You might get an ad break. Take advantage of it. While the ad's playing, get your votes in. TL for Trevor Lawrence or MJ for Mac Jones. Let's talk about Lamar Jackson now. We told you about how Mac Jones performed in the Ravens-Patriots game. Meanwhile, on the other side, Lamar Jackson looked really good for the Ravens. Four touchdowns through the air. A rushing touchdown as well with another 100-yard rushing game. Lamar Jackson was unstoppable. And right now... Lamar Jackson leads the NFL in total touchdowns, passing touchdowns, and quarterback rating at this point in time. And remember, he's still playing for a new contract, right? They didn't get the deal done before the season, and Lamar has pushed back those negotiations at this point in time. And so at this point, we're waiting for Lamar Jackson to get that new deal. But while he's waiting... He's making more money as the weeks go on and on. I mean, he, he looks like the MVP front runner at this point in time, and the Ravens are going to have to pay him more money. I'm very happy for Lamar Jackson that 
He's getting back to that MVP form after struggling last season and that he's proving the doubters wrong. He's proving people wrong within his own organization that he deserves to be paid. And the Ravens right now look like the best team in their division. They have a really good shot to host some early playoff games come January based on the way that Lamar Jackson's played. And not to mention, too, one more point on all of this is that there was a lot of talk this offseason when you looked at this Ravens team, how were they going to fare without Hollywood Brown and Sammy Watkins? How would they replace those guys? It hasn't been a problem at all for Lamar Jackson. Mark Andrews has played well. Rashad Bateman's played well. And it all starts with the quarterback, what Lamar Jackson has done. And his offensive line has been banged up too, and he's still making it work. Lamar Jackson deserves a lot of credit right now for his performance on the field. So, with Lamar being the MVP favorite right now, will he win the MVP award? Let me know in the comments section. If you think that's going to happen, type Y for yes. If not, type N for no. Y for yes, N for no, if Lamar Jackson will win the MVP award in 2022. Today's show is presented by BetUS. You can bet on Lamar Jackson if he will win the MVP, as well as other games across the National Football League, college football. It's all in one place. It's at BetUS. And they're offering a great deal just for viewers of NFL Daily, a 125% deposit bonus. So if you go to chatsports.com slash bet, enter the promo code NFL Daily, you put $100 down, you get $125 to spend for free. It's all in one place. Chatsports.com slash bet, promo code NFL Daily. We move on to the Chargers medical staff. This is probably the most off-the-wall item of our stock up, stock down this week. And quarterback Justin Herbert of the Chargers was hesitant to take a pain-killing shot from the team's doctor. Now, you may be wondering, well, why is that? Especially in this day and age when we talk about shots and hesitancy, that's a a whole other story, right? Well, in, in Herbert's case... The team doctor there in Los Angeles is the same team doctor that gave Terod Taylor those problems a couple years ago, punctured a lung and forced him to miss a start against Kansas City. Ultimately, Justin Herbert got that job and never gave it up again. That doctor's still employed there, which blows my mind. Should have been fired for that instance alone. And so Herbert was hesitant to take a painkilling shot from that doctor Ultimately, he did so, but Justin Herbert did not play that great. The Chargers looked terrible, so I don't know what they gave Justin Herbert. He clearly was not in playing shape, in playing form. The Chargers medical staff, they got some issues there. I mean, if they're, they're not given the right medication or they're not getting, you know, putting Justin Herbert on the field when, when he shouldn't be out there. I mean, it, it was just a mess what this staff is enduring. They're not helping this Chargers team at this point in time after that performance that the Chargers suffered 38-10. to 10. And, you know, Slater, he's out for the year as well. So the, the issues are starting to pile up for a Chargers team that had high hopes. I mean, some people even talked about this team being a Super Bowl contender this year, but losing two straight, Chargers got some problems right now, and even their medical staff is one of those. Another stock up this week is Matt Ryan of the Indianapolis Colts. And Matt Ryan, we'd wondered through the first two weeks of the season, was father time catching up to Matt Ryan? I mean, because he and the Colts did not look good in these first two weeks. Then you take on the Kansas City Chiefs, and nobody gave Kansas City a shot this week. And Matt Ryan played out of his mind, 27 of 37, 222 yards, Two touchdowns. He was terrific. The Chiefs, sure, they made some self-inflicted wounds. And we know about the scuffle, the exchange of words between Patrick Mahomes and Eric Bieniemy. But let's not forget what Indianapolis was able to do here. They potentially saved their season with this performance from Matt Ryan. Look, what have we said for the last few years with the Indianapolis Colts? That they have a good defense, a really good running game, They got talent there. They just need a quarterback. Carson Wentz wasn't that guy. Now Matt Ryan, if he could play like he did on Sunday each and every week, the Colts can be a contender in the AFC, but they need that consistency. They need this version of Matty Ice, not the one that gave the game away in week two. They need him to play like he did in week three going forward. I like what I saw from Matt Ryan this week. 
Stock down, Josh McDaniels continues on the downward trend for the Las Vegas Raiders. 0-3 to begin the season after losing to the Titans 24-22 on Sunday. And not only are the Raiders 0-3, they're losing close games. And when you're losing close games, that comes down to coaching and comes down to the decisions that you're making. Josh McDaniels calling plays when he probably should delegate that, probably should left be left to somebody else to do. And remember, the work that Josh McDaniels and this Raiders team did this offseason to kind of dismantle this roster, this was a playoff team last year. And they're treating this Raiders team as if they were a bottom-of-the-barrel team last year, trying to redo everything from the ground up. And right now, Josh McDaniels in this Raiders situation is not working. I didn't like the hire of Josh McDaniels. I thought he did a terrible job in Denver. And now, you look at what he's done with this Raiders organization, it's just a mess. So, I don't know if Josh McDaniels is even going to make it to the end of the season at this point in time. So, here at NFL Daily, our true false question today, Josh McDaniels will get fired this season. This 0-3 start, if the losses keep on continuing, I don't know how much longer you can keep Josh McDaniels. They have to have a turnaround at some point in the season. It feels like the season's already over for the Raiders now. What say you? Do you think Josh McDaniels gets fired this year? If so, type T for true. If not, type F for false. Let us know here on NFL Daily. And you know if Josh McDaniels gets fired, we're going to be covering it here on NFL Daily by Chat Sports. We have the latest NFL news, rumors, live shows, and more. We have our Red Zone show each and every Sunday as well. Hit that red subscribe button so you never miss a moment of all the latest happenings across the National Football League. It's all in one place right here on NFL Daily by Chat Sports. Subscribe now, youtube.com slash TV. A couple more names for you on the stock up front. I want to turn my attention to Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts has been incredible to start off the season. And if you go into 2022, remember, Eagle fans were kind of split, right, on whether Jalen Hurts was that guy or not. And the way that the Eagles had structured things with the trade that they made with the Saints and getting draft capital and and how that all worked out, it was kind of like a safety net, right, that if Jalen Hurts wasn't good enough, then they would position themselves to get a quarterback in this upcoming draft with a high pick. Now, from what we've seen from Jalen Hurts, He is the real deal. 22 of 35, 340 yards, three touchdowns. And with Jalen Hurts, the talk out of him when he came out of Oklahoma was he's a heck of a runner, but there was questions about his passing, in particular his accuracy. Jalen Hurts has been very accurate. And in Sunday's win against Washington, he didn't even need to run the football that much. Just 20 rushing yards. Jalen Hurts is looking like a a total dual-threat quarterback. In this Eagles team is not only the best team in the NFC East, they're arguably the best team in the entire NFC right now. Their quarterback's getting the job done. This team's playing really good football as a whole. I like what I've seen from the Eagles at this point in the year, and it feels like that they're still getting better each and every week through three weeks. I feel like I've seen a better version of this team each week, and if they stay healthy, watch out. This is a juggernaut there in Philadelphia that this team is putting together. I like what I've seen from them so far. Last one on the stock down list, Justin Fields, the second-year quarterback for the Chicago Bears. Granted with Fields, I mean, he's been set up to fail, right? This team is just a disaster all around him. But Sunday was no help for Justin Fields at all. 8 of 17, 106 yards, two interceptions, 47 rushing yards. I know that the the Bears got the win Sunday against Houston, but this wasn't pretty. I mean, this was a bad performance from Justin Fields, no matter how you slice it. 106 yards, two interceptions. Got to be more accurate than that. The Bears need Justin Fields to step up as a passer. I understand that the receivers there are not very good. The offensive line there is not very good. But Justin Fields has to make this work to some extent. And right now, he's not doing his part. I understand things aren't good, but he's still got to play a little bit better himself. So before we go, stock up, stock down. 
Stock up for Trevor Lawrence, Lamar Jackson, and Matt Ryan, as well as Jalen Hurts. Stock down for Mac Jones, the Chargers medical staff, Josh McDaniels, and Justin Fields. That does it for NFL Daily today. As always, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Tyler Jones Live, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.